on the dog training college so today i'm just going to show you a quick overview on how to use the dog training college in a circle platform so the first thing you want to do once you've received your username and login is pop your username in this bar here and your password what i like to do is press remember me so you haven't got to keep logging in and out once you've done that just click login the first thing i'm going to do is bring you to your library so this is like the dashboard on this page, it is going to have your crash courses, webinars, ebooks, handouts, Facebook Lives, masterclasses, and bonuses. On this bar here, you're going to have your profile. So you can have your profile, messages, members, leaderboard, settings, and logout. You're going to have your notifications up here, and you're going to have your messages here. You also have a search bar here, so you can click on this and search anyone that you want to find. Here is kind of, you can minimize and maximize your um, tab on this side. So first of all, you're gonna have your library. So if you click on your library, this is gonna be kind of the home page. You then got your deals as well. So if you click on the deals, this is gonna come up with all the deals that you've got. So this is all the deals that you have currently. Once you've then clicked on the deals you then hover over it and it will turn it over and it will give you the discount code I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to reveal all the codes but you will just hover over it and it will give you the discount code you've then got your community hire a pro so you can hire a um, instructor in your area and the help center in the help center most of the common questions are in there so if there's anything you don't know I would always go on a help center and see if it's on there first if it isn't i would then contact us you can either do it directly through the inner circle platform so you can message one of us directly on here or you can give us a call or you can email us or you can pop it to our facebook page so this is kind of the basic way when you get back in the library i'm going to show you how to take a course so we're going to go on our library and the first one is crash courses so if you click on the crash courses once you're then on here, you can then pick which course you'd like to do. Each course has a different amount of lessons. So if we pick puppy and puppy health and wellness, so if we click on this, this one's only four lessons. So we're going to pretend that we're taking it just to kind of give you an idea um, how you do it. So at the moment, we haven't done any steps of this course. So you can watch an introduction as well, and then you can pick what lessons you do. So I'd obviously always start with number one. This one's five minutes and 39 seconds. So it tells you how long you've got. If you do find yourself busy and you need to go off and do something, that's fine. You can stop it. And when you log back in, it will still be on the same lesson that you're on. So if you're up to number two, it will stay on that lesson. At the end of the course, you've got your quiz. So you then take your quiz. And if you get over a certain percentage, you'll then get awarded a certificate. If you don't get over the percentage, you can retake the course as well. At the bottom, you can leave comments and feedback about the course as well. On this side, it tells you, so if we click up here, on this side here, it tells you who the, who the course is by. So you can also contact the course teacher, um, ask her any questions or him any questions or any feedback that you've got for them as well. Um, so down here, you can see he's already taken this course as well. So then we're gonna go on our profile. Once we've gone on our profile, this is kind of an overview. When you've been awarded a badge, when you first log in, it will pop up on your screen and say, congratulations, you have been awarded the approved instructor, the Canon Body Language, depending on what you have done. So mine are already there because I've set this account up just to show you guys. So your awards will be loaded here and your points will be collected up here. Here is where you have your friends, how many friends you've got. Down here is kind of your activity that you've put on your profile so you can update statuses and change your pictures, cover photos, stuff like that. You've then got your main profile, which is what we're on. Then you've got your notifications, which is kind of the same as this one up here. And again, your messages, which is the same as this one up here. Then you've got your friends. And then if you click on this one, this tells you what courses you've taken. So at the minute, because we're on a dummy user, we haven't taken any courses. Um, but usually it would say how far they are completed. So 100% completed or 50% completed. So the first thing you want to do when you log in is you really want to change your profile picture because when you first log in, you're not going to have a profile picture. So all you need to do to change your profile picture is click directly on the profile picture. Then you scroll down to here and it will say select your file. So you're then going to select your file and then you're just going to pick what photo you would like. So we're just going to click that one. We've already got one already, but I'm just going to show you how to use it because 
it may not seem as simple to some of you if you're unsure how to do it so I'm just going to show you how to do it so you then want to crop how much you want in the profile picture as well then you can press crop image and then it's going to go on there this is in the frequently asked questions as well in the help center you can also change your cover picture here by clicking up here and update your cover photo if you like on this side it's going to show you who else is active and you can click on other people and you can message them so this is a dog bot so if anyone's got any questions and want to inbox us directly on the inner circle you can message the dog bot you can message me you can message leanne anyone that works for the dtc you can message so i'm going to show you how to do that so you're going to click on kind of their profile once you've clicked on it you can add them as a friend once you've added as a friend you can then message them so you can then private message or do a public message so once you've done that, you've then kind of got your profile up to date. So you're going to have your badges, you're going to have your points once you've been awarded badges. And once you do some crash courses, your points are then going to go up as well to unlock hidden bonuses. So if we go back in the library, I'll show you a little bit more what is included in the library. So as I mentioned earlier, you've got all these to go with as well. So if we say we're going to click on the handbooks, this is just an idea of some of the handbooks that you can receive at the moment. So I'm not gonna show you them all, but there's lots on there already. So this is just a few of them. So you can actually download them and keep for your own personal use as well. If there is anything you're stuck on, or if you haven't been awarded your badge, because sometimes the badges don't always come up first time, depending, you may need to log in and log out again for them to be awarded to you, for them to show up here. If yours doesn't show, I would always message us or give us the call and let us know so we can check your account from our side and then make sure that's gone on to the correct username and email address that we've got for you. Um, so that is pretty much kind of a basic view on how you use the DTC in a circle platform.